There are your typical tattoo parlors, sketchy storefronts run by artist types who are more concerned with body ink than balance sheets. Then there are these. Sleek, stylish, spacious affairs run like a real business. That's the unique approach one married couple has used to stick it to the competition, and it's made them millions of dollars. Meet Sean and Thora. Guys, this looks fantastic. We are Sean and Thora Dowdell, owners of Club Tattoo, a multi-million dollar empire. Come on in, take a look. A tattoo can be a thing of beauty, but most tattoo parlors are anything but. By designing their shops with an upscale vibe, Sean and Thora gave themselves a great competitive edge. Have a wonderful day, ladies. Thank you so much for the business. Club Tattoo became successful by not just trying to be a tattoo parlor. We wanted to become a high-end tattoo and piercing studio. That was an actual brand. With six locations in three different states, Club Tattoo grosses $8 million a year for an average of $1.3 million per location, more than 10 times the typical parlor pulls in. But 20 years ago, Sean was more about piercing rock ballads than he was about piercing eager customers. Started Club Tattoo in 1995. I was the drummer for a band called Grey Days. The singer was Chester Bennington. He's now the singer for Lincoln Park. We came up with an idea of opening up the tattoo shop so that we could earn money while being rock stars. But when Grey Days disbanded, he joined Lincoln Park. I stepped away from the music industry and put all my time and energy into the tattoo shop. When I started the first studio, I didn't really have visions of expanding beyond that. Sean might not have had the vision for more than one shop, but luckily for him, Thora was about to come into the picture. I grew up in a lower class situation where my mother held two and three jobs at any one time to support us. So I went out into the corporate world because I had a drive to be the best I could be at no matter what it was. And after we were married, I could see things within the tattoo industry that I could implement some of my corporate structure knowledge. I joined the business with him and it took us about a year or two to define our roles within the business. It was very difficult on our marriage. I'm surprised we survived. I handle all operations and administration, bookkeeping, boring paper pushing things, I guess. And Sean is more hands-on with the tattoo artists, our marketing and our PR. We spent the first decade of our marriage and business partnership investing and reinvesting every penny we earned back into the brand and into the company. I would like to welcome all of our new Club Tattoo team members at the Link Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. You're part of a multi-million dollar business and you guys are the hands making it happen on the floor every day. Woo! <laughs> Currently in 2015, we have six tattoo and piercing studios in Arizona, Las Vegas, and San Francisco, and about 143 people who work under the club tattoo umbrella. How's it going, buddy? It's going well. You working on your next masterpiece? Yes, I am, like yeah? always. I think one of the things that really sets Club Tattoo apart is that Sean and myself are not tattoo artists. Oh, that's great. Good job. We treat it as a true business and not a cool tattoo shop. When you're not a tattoo artist, you can focus mainly on the operations of the business. Get me an order of BVLA of stuff that you guys would like to have. Our administrative side of how we run the actual tattoo and piercing business is different than any others in the industry. Uh, we have set managers, sales staff. More than anything, we bring structure and organization to an industry that otherwise has none. Club Tattoo opened its doors in 1995 and finished the year with $80,000 in gross sales. In 2014, their total sales had soared to $8 million, an increase of 10,000%. In our 20s, you know, we were saving all of our money, putting it back into the company. In our 40s, we do like to indulge a little bit. Sean and I work very, very hard, and we also play hard in a luxurious way. Uh, we feel like we've earned it. We now have a residence, a luxury condo in Las Vegas, an apartment in San Francisco, and a beach house in Mexico. But those are only their second, third, and fourth favorite homes. So we built our dream house, a little over 5,000 square feet. It's a five bedroom, has movie theater, beautiful backyard, pool, jacuzzi. It's amazing. My dream house. Come on, buddy. Something that we're most proud of in our life. And every girl's got to have some bling. So over the years, um, throughout our levels of success, I've been able to treat myself with shopping and collecting a few things. 
and some of them are very special to me. This was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase, and it was a couple hundred dollars. And I remember feeling really blessed. <laughs> it really does have... I'm sorry. Some sentimental value. I hang on to it uh, to remind myself of the days when I was younger and my mom and I, we were really poor. I mean poor, 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 poor. America is a wonderful country to live in for free enterprise, but you really have to want it and you have to do what it takes. It's a complete blessing to be able to afford the lifestyle that we have. It's never been the goal of what we are chasing, but it's definitely a byproduct of the hard work that we've put in. If you work hard, you generally can reap rewards for that.